Now, now this is one of the rare books printed in 1985. It's never been reprinted since. Um, when this was a new book in 1985, this little publication cost £12. It was very expensive then. Now it remains expensive. These publications sell for about £30 second hand now because it's never been reprinted. What it is, Pillboxes by Henry Wills, a study of UK defences as they were in 1940. And inside, the guy's gone around in 1985 photographed remaining bits and pieces he's took the original world war ii full-length civil defense map of britain which shows every single defensive position he's replicated on quite a lot of the pages so you can go through the pages right the way up the country to see where all the civil defense bits and pieces were in 1940 it is an excellent excellent book to anybody interested not only in civil defenses of 1940 pillboxes where they were and civil defense in Britain in general because this book from 1985 it's never ever been better it, it's the most comprehensive study of pillboxes in the UK and in fact if you go online on on the internet there is a some sort of internet website where they have a study of pillboxes and things like that in the UK well their information a lot of it's being gained from this publication and this has never ever been bettered so what we'll do is we'll put it down on the chair because it, war it warrants a bit of a look through because it is a very very rare book and i know there's a lot of you people out there interested in civil defense in england in 1940 so i'll put it down we'll have a bit of a good look through it um, i got mine second hand um, it is a really superb publication so we have uh, pillboxes by Henry Wills, A Study of UK Defences, 1940. And back then in the day, £12 book. And as I say, by Henry Wills. And it starts with development of the pillbox until the Second World War. The pillbox in Flanders, 1939-40. Plans for the defence of Britain, 1940. Design of pillboxes. Design of anti-tank obstacles, pillbox construction, camouflage of defences, pillbox, pillbox taxis, conclusion. The summary of the defence in Scotland, the National Survey of Pillboxes and Defences, maps showing sites of pillboxes and defensive lines, use of pillboxes for other purposes, and a bibliography of selected books. So what it does, it actually has all the Ordnance Survey guides showing all the, the mapped pillboxes, Back in the day, every single one, and what you do is you cross-reference it to this full replicated map which shows every single position, defensive position in World War II. Then we come through and there's all these pictures. A lot of these places now have long since been demolished, have long since been built on and have gone. So this is this guy's lifetime post-war collection of pillbox pictures. It is really, really a minefield of information and you can see why the book today still holds its value. It has never been updated because you can't update it now because of all the building that's gone on. You've got plans, sectional plans which are alright for diorama builders. It is a really, really superb item. All the different models of UK pillboxes are shown in plans, diagrams, various turrets. As you can see, existing airfield pillbox things. Picket Hamilton Forts, Browning machine gun emplacements. Long since sealed up pillboxes. So it really is an excellent publication. Highly recommended for anybody interested in the defence of Britain during the war. Um, but unfortunately now, if you see a copy of this book,